Hi, Michael. Good Hi, night. teacher. How are you? Hello. Oh, awesome. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Hi, How was teacher. your weekend? Yes. Ah. Was it good? Yes, yeah, so so. Why? Nice Why? So so. What happened? Very difficult. It was no. difficult. Oh, do you have to work? Yeah. Oh, that's the reason uh, why. Mm. Uh, stress. Very stressful. Yes. Yeah. yes. But uh, did you take some time off, or do you are you gonna uh, have a, like another day off? Yes, it's departure. Oh, okay. But it's not all weekends. It's just this particular weekend. Yes, two days in the weekend. Uh, wow. Very good. Oh well, but. It, did you just uh, spend time with your family? Yes, yes. with my family. I am so so. so, so. Oh, well, at least I'm happy that I can see you right now. And also, I can see Gerardito, Carlitos, and Brie. Oh my goodness, we have more boys than girls today. <gasps> and most of the time, it's the opposite way more girls than boys. But okay, I miss you, Gerardito. What happened last week? I miss ya. Yeah. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Gerardito. What yes. happened? Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, because the last week I had some work meeting on oh. the project at the same time. Oh, got so. it. I understand. It's for work purposes. Yes, sometimes that happens. Yeah, definitely. But the best part is that you are here. You know what? When you are not able to come for some reason, uh, in the in the email that you received before I started this model, uh, there's a link that you have to our YouTube channel, right? So every night I upload each class. So next morning, uh, when you when you like get into the YouTube channel and click on our list, you will be able to see our class. So you will so you can like make uh, some review. And also to double check what was the topic that we saw when the class that you missed, and in, this, in that case, we'll, you're gonna be in the same pace, in the same, in the same level. Okay, so that would be my best recommendation. That for some reason you are not able to attend a class, you still have the chance to check out the video. Okay. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. So that will be my best recommendation. Do you have the that link, Carlitos, or would you would you like me to share with all of you here on the on the on the Zoom? class right now. Would you like me to share with you guys? I'm gonna share with you just for you to have it. Uh, but in that in that way, you will be able to have it there and uh, for future reference, right? There's, you won't be able to, to miss any class. So let me just couple of minutes. There you go. Let me know if you receive them, guys. Okay, I just share with everybody right now. Do you have it on that uh, Zoom chat? Yeah. Yes, yes. So that's the link uh, for our playlist for our classes because in, in class corporativo has like a YouTube channel, right? But each okay. teacher has their own list for their own classes for their own videos. So when you click on that one, you will be able to see all our classes that have been given so far. All right, in case you missed any class for any reason, for family, personal, or for professional purposes, you will be able to, to click on that class, on that, on that link, and you're not gonna miss the class, okay? That is, I'm giving to you. You should have it, this one on the email that you receive. Uh, but if not, I'm gonna send it to you just in case, okay? Alrighty, yeah, so this guys, on this one, Gerardito, Miguelito, and Jorgito, I know those, uh, all of you have been like a really difficult to join last class, right, last week, for job purposes or for uh, professional purposes. So you click on that link, you're gonna check all the classes since the last since last monday <laughs> until then <laughs> yeah so you will be able and, or if for example there are some topic that you still struggle with you can just go on the link check on the one on uh, the topic that we saw that day and the one that you struggle click on that and you will be able to review it or if you want to of course we can also review it in class okay not a problem like carlitos i, I think carlito was asking for some information. He's he's almost finished. He's in section five. And I was like, wow, isn't it amazing? So Carlitos is like, 
the Speedy Gonzalez, right? That uh, we're, we're going to take like uh, 10 to 15 minutes or five minutes to explain his, his doubt today, okay? Because even though you're not, have, you have not finished the section five yet, guys, but it's really good to make review because when you arrive to that section, you will be able to know what to do, okay? You are going to remember that and it will be easier for you. Okay, guys. Uh -huh. Now, uh, you know what Miguelito was telling us that his uh, weekend was really stressful because he got to work. So poor Miguelito, but Miguelito's here with us. Also, Gerardito, he's had been in a lot of meetings this last week. What about you, Brie? What happened in your weekend? Did you do something special? Oh, yes, teacher. <laughs> what did you do? Yes, I went to my mommy's house. Really? Yay! Where, she, where does she live? She lives in San Juan Nonalco, in La Paz. Wow, really? That was a long trip. Yes, I stay hmm. all the weekend. Hey. You spend uh, the whole weekend, okay. Yes, uh, because uh, it was uh, the birthday. Ah, her birthday. birthday. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so we celebrate all family. It was cool. Oh, and did, your, did you just go there or your entire family with you? All my family go oh. uh, at her house. To her house, all right. Oh, so, so you spend the whole weekend there, right? From, yeah. <laughs> from Monday until Saturday, Sunday afternoon. Saturday and Sunday. Sunday. Ooh, yes. Right. And at what time do you uh, come back home? At 8 p.m. Sunday, yeah. 8 p.m.? Wow. Because you <laughs> don't have traffic. Don't oh have yes, it. yes. Most of the time on Sundays, there's no lot. There's too much, not too much traffic, right? Mm -hmm. yes. So that's nice. Yeah, that's what I love Sundays. Well, depends where you go, because I don't know, but in so Japan, go is all the, the traffic is all the time, no matter what which day or, or what hour that you pass there. Oh. Yeah, so yeah. that's cool. Thank you, Brie, for sharing. Let's, I want to listen for Hito because long time without seeing him and listening to his beautiful voice. For Hito, tell us, hey, how was your weekend, sir? Uh, with a little bit tired because- Like Michael. Work, uh, I made some things. Oh, okay. Because they are remole, remo, ¿cómo se, how do you say remodelación? Ah, they are re, re, remodeling or reconstruct, reconstruct. Mm -hmm. Really? Oh my God. The whole house or part of your house? Uh, or redesigning? Part of, the, part of the office. Ah, part of your office. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why. Yep. Oh, that's good. Oh, right. Yeah, I understand. That's cool. So that's that's why you have been a little bit busy, right? Okay. Well, but you're here and I'm so happy that I can see you and I can listen to you. Oh, I know. Sometimes we we can all do all the things that we want to do, right? But now you know that if you miss a class, go and check the channel, okay? The list. Yep. Cool. I already uh, saw the last class. Really? I uh, but yep. the, the teacher was not right. The, the teacher didn't uh, uh, didn't go crazy, right? Hmm? No, the teacher was calm that day. She wasn't crazy. <laughs> uh, no comments, he said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oops. No, but you know how I am, right? But uh, well, at least I know it was a funny class. It it was a crazy class. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> As I always, like right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i don't know why but i'm like that way i love that way since i'm a little girl right now i'm in my mom's house right now because i'm here with her um and if you can ask her oh my goodness my mama said i don't know why you have a lot of energy you talk too much <laughs> i remember that my sister my sister who lives in costa rica she said 
hey, please, zip it. I'm like tired to listen to you. And my mama said, hmm, you don't say that because when you grow up, you're going to get married, you're going to have a child, you're going to end that child will be exactly like your sister. And she will talk a lot. And you know what? <laughs> It's true. <laughs> Because my niece, my niece is already 18 years old, but she speaks, oh my God, can you imagine uh, when she's with me and we travel and uh, with my husband and go uh, anywhere or any place here in El Salvador, she start talking since she jumped into the car until we arrive to the destination. And uh, to, in, to be honest, she makes me crazy. Like talking, talking, talking all around the, the trip. And my husband said, she got me crazy. Yes, please tell her that close her mouth just for five seconds. <laughs> But she's like that, can you imagine? She's very talkative. When a person like to speak a lot, it's talkative. That's, that's an adjective to describe the person's personality or the people's personality, talkative. So she talks a lot. Woof. Yes. My daughter is like that. Is something ah, like that. so we're going to get along well. <laughs> hey, very yes. good. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, but it's better to be like that way. Sometimes, right? Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. sometimes you got to be like... <laughs> so, we already heard about some of you. I Last but not least, I want to listen to Miss Beautiful Lady Nubi. Nubi, how was your wicked girl? Good night, teacher. Good night. My my weekend, my weekend um, was very well. Oh really? What nice. did you do? Nice. Nice. Did you do something special like breathe? Really, really not with no. my family. Oh, you spent time with your family. Yes. Very good. Did you prepare or did you make pupusas for them? <laughs> no. Come on. No. <laughs> Oh, I no. thought you do and you made pupusas for that because you know how to make pupusas, right? Yes, uh, mm -hmm. uh, my to my kids uh, like like they love pupusas. it. Oh yeah, me love too. Pupus. Of course. Yes. And my husband too. Of course, yes. <laughs> When you travel to another country, you miss your gastro your Salvadoran gastronomy. That's for sure. Yes, I yes. miss it. I miss the tamales, the tortillas, the pupusas, the tolles, because it's not the same. Never. It's not going to be the same. No, 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 no. Yes. So I love to be here because you know what? The Salvadorian gastronomy is really delicious. And we have variety, variety of products, variety of tastes, variety to, of flavors. Today, today I, I eat. Uh, you ate? Uh, Eight, eight, uh, panes rellenos. <gasps> But it depends uh, of what? Yes. Chicken? Uh, hen? The gallina, hen. Hen bread. Hen bread. Hen bread. Oh. <gasps> Did you prepare it or no? No. no. Oh, you bought it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, they are really nice. They are really, really nice. I love it too. Ooh. Hey, but I already have Me my too. dinner. <laughs> Yeah, it's really delicious to be in El Salvador, to be honest with you. I love it. I love it. I, I had the opportunity to travel all, to a lot of countries. And basically, I still love El Salvador. I, I love the gastronomy. I love it. I Very know, del delicious. delicious. Delicious, but you have to, to be careful about that because you can be like, if you eat too much, right? <laughs> There's a lot of things that makes you feel like a little bit shabby sometimes. But it's delicious. <laughs> like Brie, right? Remember the Brie? She was drinking a, a, a glass of Coke, right? On, on Sat on Thursday because she was like, like this. I remember that, right? It didn't work, Brie? The soda or no? Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice. I love Coke. <laughs> yes. She's a, she, you're a Coke holic. When you love something, for example, when you love coffee, you're like, you're a coffee-holic. When you love Coke, you're a Coke-holic. When you love chocolate, you're a chocolate-holic. 
Okay. All right. <laughs> when you love beer, you're an alcoholic. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. no, of course not. That is the person that has and drinks a lot of alcohol beverages, but in that case, no. Yeah. So you see, I'm a tea holic as well. All right, guys. So since we already know what did you do last weekend, today we're going to learn something really interesting, but at the same time, really useful. Really useful. Because, uh, there are some grammar or some words that we use in order, guys, to express the purpose or why we use something. For example, when you would like to describe what is the purpose or the reason why you use an uh, electronic machine, for example, or an electronic device or something simple like pen or pencil, it is really important to know how to do it, right? So in this case, guys, we're going to learn something really important today that help us describe how something is used. And we're going to use, today we're going to learn about infinitives and about gerunds. Infinitives and gerunds. They're like, don't get panicked, it's not complicated. That remember something, infinitive. A, a verb in infinity way is in present. For example, to talk, to go, to drive, to walk. All that particularly about infinity is that you're going to use the preposition to before the verb. For example, uh, Is often right. There is a lot of right, a lot of things that you can do with your cell phone nowadays, right? Okay, but the most important thing or the or the most important use that you give to this electronic device is making phone calls, right? So in this case, you can set the cell phone, or you can set that I use my cell phone to talk with my friends, you see, to talk with my friends, to talk with my coworkers, to, and then you can, you see, in this way, when I'm saying, when I'm explaining to you the purpose of my cell phone, I'm using right now infinitive. Why? Because I'm putting to, and then the verb in present tense. Yes, or for example, Jorjito, uh, also we can use cell phones to send messages, right? So you can say, I use my cell phone to send a message. That particular uh, phrase, guys, to send, to speak, to write, etc. That is what we call infinitive. And with infinitive, always, but always you have to use to plus, plus the verb in present tense. In present tense. I wrote it right now uh, on the chat. To plus verb in the present tense. To, that is what we call infinitive. Infinitive is the particular, uh, the preposition to plus the verb in present tense. To talk, to send, to go, to speak, to write, etc. Okay? And what that is one way that we can use to describe the purpose of the use for something. But you know what? Also, for example, um, what is this, guys? What is this? Pen. It's a pen. pen. Mm -hmm. We can use it for many reasons, right? For many things. But for example, I can say, in my case, as a teacher, right? I can say, um, I use a pen to check my students' homework right for example but this is not the only use that i can give to pen to a pen right for example nubi in your case um what is the use that you give to the pen how can you what the pen you use it for what for what you use the pen to escribir como se dice how do you say that in english guys escribir how you say it 
writing. Right. To write. To write. To write. To write. To write a what? To write my homework. To write my homework or to do my homework. Mm -hmm. But for example, if you have a, a friend in another country and you are old fashioned, you are aguar of to technology, right? Because you said, I don't have time, I don't like technology, whatever. I want to do it in the old fashioned way. So you grab a piece of paper and you write letter. Uh -huh. So you said, I use a pen to do what? What am I doing right now? What am I doing? What am I doing? Writing. To write. To write a letter to, write a to letter. my friend, for to example. Friend. Yeah? If you're old fashioned, see that si no eres muy bueno con la tecnología, or tú te prefieres más algo personalizado, you still write, okay? Okay, very good. Now I'm gonna teach you something. I'm gonna share right now with you guys my screen because I want I want you guys to be really clear about this topic. Okay, can you see it, guys? Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Cool. Yes. So basically, guys, you see, I gave you this example. Let me double check really quickly. Here. Yes. Very good. You see, I use my computer to send emails. You see, guys. What is the infinitive here? What to is the infinitive? To send. To send. Very good. Send. We have the second example. Uh, Nubi, could you please be so kind to read for me the second sentence? Well, it says uh, computers. Computers are often used to pay bills. Very good. So here, guys, in this particular sentence, what is the infinitive? Two. Two or uh, to pay? The particle is two. The, bar, the verb is pay. Uh-huh. But the infinitive is to pay. Infinitive is pay. Very good. Okay, guys. So tell me something. Tell me in your own words in Spanish. The first sentence. What does it mean? The first sentence. Uso mi computadora para enviar emails, correos, correos electrónicos. So your so this one para enviar to send that is the infinitive. Why? Because you are telling me the reason or the purpose of why you use your computer. In el caso tuyo, Nubi, you can use your computer to send an emails. Pero por ejemplo, en el caso de Brie, ella usa su computadora to join English class, ¿sí? Para unirse a la clase de inglés, right? En el caso de, um, de Jorgito, he used his computer to, uh, to do his work, ¿sí? Para hacer su trabajo, ¿me entienden? Esto va a variar. La razón por la cual tú usas algo, lo, eso va a variar. Lo que me interesa es que cuando usted hace un infinitivo, siempre va a usar estos dos, miren. Estos dos. To y cualquier verbo que usted va a utilizar dependiendo de lo que usted quiera decir. Igual aquí, ¿verdad? To pay. Por ejemplo, a ver, Jorgito, can you please read for me this, this sentence? Sentence number two. Sorry, I don't, I can hear you. Can you, can, what about now? Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Can you please be so kind to read for us sentence number two? This one. Okay. Computer, I, computer are often used to pay bills. Muy bien. Very good. So what does it mean in Spanish, Jorito? Eh, las computadoras usualmente se ocupan para pagar cuentas. Para pagar cuentas o recibos, bills. Muy bien. Very good. Entonces, Jorgito, vean ustedes aquí, chicos. To pay, to send and to pay. Estos dos son los infinitivos, right? Es, obviamente el verbo puede cambiar, chicos. Lo que va a cambiar es esto, mire. Esto va a cambiar. Pero lo que nunca puede cambiar si usted usa un infinitivo para explicar el propósito de que usted usa algo, es esto, mire. El tú siempre lo tiene que llevar. ¿Sí? No puede decir, I use my computer send emails. Vea que no suena. ¿O suena? Yo no. ocupar computadora, enviar mensajes. No. Vea que no. Tiene que ser para enviar mensajes, right? Ajá. Hoy, hasta ahorita, so far, guys. 
Do you understand? Hasta ahorita. ¿Estamos bien? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. okay. Yeah. Vaya, chicos. Esa es la primera manera. This is the first time or the first way to do it. Pero vean la segunda manera. Gerunds. ¿Qué son los gerundios, chicos? Do you remember? ¿Qué son los gerundios? Terminación ING. Very good. ING. Miren. ING. ING. Vean aquí. Quiero que vean algo. Es, las mismas oraciones, las mismas, podemos usarlas y, y, volver, y en vez de usar infinitivo, que sería to send o to pay, también podemos usarlos con gerundio. Miren, I use my computer for sending emails. Cuando usamos con gerundio, ya no vamos a poner to. ¿Cuál va a ser la preposición que vamos a ocupar? For. For. For, miren. For. For sending. For pain, etc. For driving, for going, for talking, etc. Sí. Vamos a poner el verbo y lo vamos a poner en ING. Lo que tienen que tener cuidado, chicos, lo que tienen que tener cuidado es a la hora de construir el verbo en ING. Sí. Porque algunos que tú quitas el, la Y y la transformas en ING, o en el caso de pay, si tú te fijas en pay, no cambias la Y, solo le pones ING al final. Yeah? Si ustedes se fijan, if you notice that, guys, the meaning, el significado, no, doesn't matter if you use gerunds, or doesn't matter if you use infinitives, it's the same. El significado es lo mismo. Si yo digo, I use my computer to send emails, o I use my computer for sending emails, ¿estoy diciendo lo mismo, sí o no? Sí. Exactly yes. the same. Lo único que va a cambiar es the structure. La estructura. Si por ejemplo uso infinitives, acuérdense, to y el present, el verbo en presente. That's it. Gerunds, I use for and the verb in ing form. ¿Sí? Es lo único que tiene. Jorgito, you have a big question mark like this. Like that. Ajá, Jorgito, do you have a doubt? ¿Tienes dudas? Yo no, un gran signo de interrogación. No. <laughs> Uh, my boss is... Ah, right. it's, it's my... my... Ah, okay, okay, that's okay, no problem. Ger Ger Gerardito, Jesse, Rocio, Dinita, Carlitos, Vane, Boris, Luis. Hey, baby girl. Hey. Uh, are you um, all right? Do you have any questions, guys? For the moment, no, teacher. For the moment, no, no. Teacher. no? Me not, teacher. No? Okay, cool. teacher. All right. Okay. okay. Okay, because if you have a... Hey, peace and love, baby. <laughs> All righty. Because if you do, that's... The, see, today is the, is the moment to do it. Okay, guys. Si no hay más preguntas, si no hay duditas, eh, sigamos. Okay. Ahorita les quiero enseñar otra cosa para que tengan más o menos... Le voy a mandar eh, fotos de lo que hemos visto en clase, okay? Así que no se preocupen. No se preocupen. Pero quiero que lo vean acá. Así que todo para recap. Miren, chicos. For infinitive, aquí está la estructura. Mira. To plus verb. ¿Viste? Example, I use my cell phone to call my friends. Uso mi celular para hablarle a mis amigos. ¿Cuál es el infinitive? To call. ¿Sí? To call. Gerunds, for plus verb plus ing. I use my cell phone for calling my friends. ¿Cuál sería el gerundio aquí? For calling my friends. Calling. Exactly. Very good. Very good. Uh -huh. Ah, otra cosa que quiero enseñarles. Uh -huh. Miren que se lo vuelvo a repetir. Most use to with infinitive, ¿sí? Y for with gerunds. Acuérdense, no me van a decir to sending. No me van a decir to sending porque eso está mal. Sería for sending. Y no me van a decir for send. No, to send. Para el infinitivo es to y para el gerundio es for. Las prepositions son totalmente diferentes, ¿ok? So you gotta be careful, guys. Ok, guys, tenemos un, un exercise. Pero antes de dejarles ese exercise, quiero enseñarles algo. Vamos a practicar, ¿les parece? Yes. Perfecto. Ajá. Eh, tell me something, guys. Vamos a practicar el, 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 el uso del para, para, para poder expresar la, el propósito del uso de algún objeto. Pero 
alguien le voy a pedir que me haga con infinitive y a otra persona le voy a decir que me lo haga con gerundio la misma sentence, ¿sí? Para que vayamos a practicar, después vamos al regreso. Vale, pero antes que todo, first of all, antes que todo, what is this? Miren, what is this? Alcohol. Right. It's, it's not alcohol, actually. But what do I use it? I use it for what? For clean your hands. hands. Very good, exactly. For clean. This, guys, is what we call, it could be in spray, it could be in a alcohol, it could be whatever. This one is hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Okay. Gel antibacterial o... o, o. O el, que tú, o, el, o el alcohol o en lo que tú ocupas para lavarte las manos, limpiarte las manos, se llama hand sanitizer. Se lo voy a escribir ahorita por chat. Hand sanitizer. Hand, hand de mano. Hand de mano. Hand sanitizer. Sanitizer. Y es con Z, sanitizer. ¿Sí? Mm, hand sanitizer. sanitizer. Yeah. Entonces, ok. Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. ¿Qué me puedes, ¿Para qué ocupamos el hand sanitizer? For cleaning. Que dijo Bane, Bane, ok. Bane, do me a favor. Usted, usted, usted utilizaste el gerundio, right? Dime la oración completa. Yes. I use the hand sanitizer. Dile. I use, I use hand sanitizer for cleaning my hands. Very good. Excellent. Very good, Bane. Ok. Eh, Gerardo, I need exactly the same sentence, pero no con gerundio. I need it with infinitive. ¿Qué ocupamos con infinitive? ¿Te recuerdan? Two. two, very two. good. Okay, tell me, Hernanito. I I use hand sanitizer to clean my hands. Very good, awesome. You rock. Give me five Yeah, very good. Okay, guys. Now, cell phone. What is this? Cell phone, right? Okay, cell phone. Cell phone. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Boris. Give me a sentence with a cell phone. What is one way to the use a cell two phone? Or uh, no, yes, give me a, the infinitive. The infinitive will be good. Infinitive. Mm -hmm. Well, I use my cell phone to call my family. Okay, very good, excellent. Bree, I need exactly the same sentence, but with Jared. I use my cell phone for calling my family. Yeah, very good, excellent. And what else? What else? What else? Ah, yes. <laughs> What's this? Mask. A mask, mask. right? Mask. Very good. A mask. So, eh, Jorgito, give me a sentence with the word mask. ¿Para qué utilizas la máscara hoy en día, nowadays? I use yes. the mask to uh -huh. go work to work to go to work mm -hmm. very good okay miguelito <laughs> Ay, ya sabía yo. i need exactly the same sentence pero con gerundio y bueno te que turn off turn on your microphone your microphone is off tienes apagado el micrófono i use my I... mask for working for working or for going to work? Working. Oh, very good. Excellent. Good job. Uh, vamos a ver. Let's see. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> no, this is going Case. to be so much fun. <laughs> yes. Okay. Case. Case. What about this? Case. No. no, no, no. What about this? Mouse. 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 Okay. Uh, Nuvi. What do you do? You use the mouse for what? I use the, the mouse for for using my computer. For using your computer or for navigating, right? Navigator, primero. Navigating, navigating on the web, on the web, or navigating or on the browser, right? Browser, buscador, browser, age. Uh, Firefox, eh, anything, in all of them are, we're called browser, los buscadores, browsers, okay? Very good, excellent. Aha, uh -huh. and Dinita, can I have the same sentence that Nubi said, but with the infinitive, please? 
I use my mouse with my with for to send emails. For, for to example. send or to send? To send very good. emails. Very good. Yes, to send emails, yes. Or to click in YouTube channel. I don't know. You can use an imagination. Very good. Now give up uh, now this one. Again, the little pencil. Pen, sorry, because yes, this is a pen. Guys, what do you use the pen for, Jesse? Or Carlitos Antonio? The pen. Goodness. Yo sé que estamos en technology area, but come on. Uh-huh. Carlitos. I, I use I use the the pen, uh -huh, the pen. for uh, for uh, for what for write the for write or for writing for writing for sentence, sentence. for writing sentences very good very good and let me check ah what about this guys why do I use this one how do you call these ones earphones earphones Ear Ear why is earphone because you put it inside your ear right? It's different from the ones over here. Those are called headsets, but this one's at earphones. So tell me guys, why the teachers is using these um, earphones? Why? Why do I use earphones? Anybody? I know everybody wants to participate. I know oh, that. But I, use, I use my ear earphones uh -huh. and for li listening. For listening? My class. For listening my English, English class. class. Yes. English class. And in my case, I'm using the earphones for listening to all of you guys. <laughs> and of course, for giving my class, right? Mm -hmm. And it's because I used to have a headset, but my little baby named Chestnut. <laughs> yes. When he was a baby boy, he used to do this. And the teacher has no self headsets anymore because of him. Yes. You remember that when the puppies, the, the teeth are really like, I don't know, they are like, like knives, right? Yes. So they cut the things like, oh my goodness. And I was like, ah! you know what? And I remember that was like uh, the same day that I was supposed to start a model. And I was like, how am I going to give the class if I don't have a headset? I almost had a heart attack that day, but my husband said, hey, I have uh, some earphones here as a backup. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> thank you so much. So I had to go to Radio Shack the same week on Saturday to buy a new ones. And I have them, but as a backup, but I prefer these ones. I don't know why. It's because of my, of my work. I use a lot of headsets all the time and I'm tired of them. <laughs> so I decided to, to use another type of a device. All righty, very good. Um, now that we already have practice, I want to share with you uh, what we were supposed to, to double check right now. Uh, now, guys, we we're continuing with the practice of two uh, plus infinitive and four and daring, but I'm going to share with you some images that I have prepared for you. Let me check here. Okay, can you see it, guys? Those are beautiful, right? We have cell phones here. Then we have a pencil, a pen, a headset. You see, th these are headsets, right, guys? And this is a tablet, right? Okay, so do me a favor. Take a look at the, at the images here. So tell me, guys, we have three here, three ways or three reasons why do we use the cell, the cell phone. For example, the first reason, this one, what do we use the cell phone for, Boris? Do we use a cell phone for what, according to the picture? Uh, I use my cell phone to listen to music. To, to listen to music. To listen to music. Uh -huh. What else? Another, another reason why you use a cell phone besides uh, listen to music? Use cell phone to send emails. To send emails. And uh -huh. To and? send pictures. To send a picture or to take a picture. To Very take a good. Picture. Yes. Very good. Excellent. And what about pencil? And Jesse, what about pencil? What? A pencil. Why do we use the pencil? What is the purpose of using a pencil? 
Uh, right. To write, you said? Okay, what else? Para que más? To write? Uh, to draw. To draw. Muy bien. And what else? One more. Una más? Uh, I don't know. <gasps> no, oh, come on. To make a sketch. <laughs> uh huh. Uh -huh. Or to design something, right? Porque no es lo mismo dibujar que diseñar. Math exercise. To, ah, for, uh -huh, to finish math exercise. Jorjito. Very good. Jorjito, ya que, ya que nos diste un ejemplo. <laughs> Why, eh, dime tú la tercera. Why do we use uh, headsets? For what purpose? ¿Para qué propósito usamos los headsets? I use my headset to uh -huh. receive class. To, to receive class. Yeah. To receive class. What else? Dame otras dos razones. Give me two more reasons. Uh, to listen to music. To listen to music. And the last one? To talk with a person. To talk with a person. Very good. Quiero ver quién será, quién quiere, quién quiere, 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 for example, for drawing, for drawing. Draw, for drawing, yes, uh -huh. for drawing. What else? Um, <laughs> yeah, I just um, to to, uh -huh. to make to make a how do you say <laughs> to make a layout? A layout, uh, a PowerPoint a presentation. PowerPoint, yes. To yeah. Our presentation. And one more reason. Uh, uh, and this popular, uh -huh. yes, the the face. <laughs> I uh -huh. used to the uh, Facebook. Ah, uh, Facebook. So yeah. you said to, to check your Facebook account. Oh, check it. That's cool. Very good. So thank you, Carlitos. What about a Bunny? What about a, a red pencil or a pencil in general? What do you use it for? Pencil. Oh, no, sorry, pen. What? A red pen. A red pen. This one. El lapicero I... rojo. A red pen. Okay. I I use the pencil, the red pencil for the red pen. The red pen. For writing. The for letter. writing. <laughs> uh -huh, for writing a letter. What other reason you could use a red pencil? For how to say resaltar. <laughs> highlight. Highlight. For highlighting. For, for highlighting um, any sentence. Any sentence or any important uh, word, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh, word. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes. And what else? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Nah. -ah. Sign document. Ah, uh, sign a document. Mm. Yes. Mm, no. Well, no. Most of the time, you sign your document or with a blue or black. Or black. Uh -huh, but never with with red one. For Depends enumerar, enumerar. I had to enumerate. Enumerate. Aha, it is very good, excellent. Highlight. Entonces, resaltar, tú puedes decir highlight, pero para eso ocupas más un marker. Eh, el pen lo puedes ocupar para, para delinear. To check. Uh, to to check. check. Bueno, en el caso mío, lo ocupo para check the mistakes. Me too. To check Me too, mistakes. to check. Para, pero tú puedes decir como subrayar, underline, ¿sí? Underline. Underline, subrayar, okay. y highlight yeah. es resaltar. Resaltar. Más que todos los marcadores, the markers, yes. you highlight, right? Pero para subrayar es underline. Por ejemplo, si tú ocupas Word, uh -huh. cuando tú vas en Word, Mama. ves que hay una... Mama. 
hay como una letra, como una U y tiene como una rayita abajo. Sí, en Word. Si tú, si tú pones el mouse ahí, ahí te va a decir que te, que underline, ¿cómo se dice underline? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Entonces, eh, para eso es. Very good. Excellent, guys. You're awesome. Han estado terribles hoy. Me llega. Very, and it's Monday morning. Yeah. Very good job, guys. Hoy vamos a ver algo muy interesante. Fíjense. Eh, yo, pa, ahorita... Fíjense que eh, ahorita ha sido súper fácil. Easy, busy, busy, como digo yo. O piece of cake. Hoy lo voy a hacer pensar más. Yes, Jorgito. <ríe> yo les voy a dar la primera parte de la sentence. La primera parte. Y quiero que coqueen el resto. Porque es fácil. Por ejemplo, con cell phone, con pen, con hand sanitizer. Pero si yo le preguntara para qué usamos un robot, para qué usamos un GPS, para qué usamos un satélite, <risa> ya la vaina va cambiando, ¿no es cierto? Like, ah, I'm gonna make it think. Entonces, uh -huh. vamos a ver. Vamos a ver si es buena onda. Lo voy a dividir en dos grupos. We are 11. Conmigo son 11. Vamos a hacer dos grupos. Y lo vamos a designar automáticamente. Pero ya les voy, ay, ya les voy a mandar lo que yo quiero. There are six sentences, guys. Son seis sentences. Y tienen que cranearlo. Les voy a dar solo tres minutos suficientes para que puedan pensar y ustedes me digan pues, para qué van a usar eso, ¿verdad? Ustedes pueden usar infinitive. Eh, o oh, two plus main verb in present tense o oh, con gerund acuérdense que es for plus ing for vamos a ver guys tell me if you received the image already yeah did you receive it si ¿Sí? ya recibieron yes. Yes? yes so you have number one satellites okay. are used Robots are sometimes used. Uh, you can use cell phone. Eso está más fácil. People use the internet. Y hay un montón de razones por las cuales use the internet. Eh, five. G a GPS device is used. Si no saben qué es el GPS, ahí pregunten. A tablet computer can be used. ¿Verdad? Entonces... Ese, ese es parte, pero no significa, ah, entonces como ya es el can be used, no sé qué, no, monstruo, nada, no. Después de ahí, usted me tiene que decir to send, to talk, of, ay, después de ahí me tiene que poner o el gerundio o el infinitivo, ¿le parece? Vale, doy tres minutos, pues. Vamos a ver, la primera sala va a ser Boris, Carlito, Gerardo, Jorge y Jesse. Y en la segunda, Bri, Nubi, Dinita, Miguelito y Vanessa. ¿Acepta la invitación, por favor? ¿Puedes aceptar la invitación? I will give you three minutes to complete that. That's enough. Uh -huh. No, we didn't accept invitation, please. Uh huh. Jorjito, very good. Boris. I'm only missing Nubi. There you go. This is missing. I said the invitation, please, Boris. Very good. Excellent. So let me double check this, guys, really quickly. Okay. okay. The weather is, is, is robots are sometimes robots are sometimes used. Okay. Yeah, robots are sometimes used. To make dangerous work. Ah, that's a good one. Oh, dangerous. Oh, to construction. Yeah, oh, to construction cars. To construct car, yes. Like, yes. Uh, uh huh. Yes, you can use right. uh, cell phones. Send. To send messages. To send, send messages. To send oh. message. No, invent. <laughs> come on. He's already in the example. No, wait. You got to invent no. something else. 
for calling the family, for calling the boss, or whatever. To make a speech, to take talk. I use. Uh huh. Exactly. To make a TikTok videos. I don't know. Use your imagination to create TikTok videos. Yeah. I use the phone to share the internet uh -huh. with your daughter. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. There's a lot of things. Yeah, right. So I want you guys to be creative, and also, guys, try to use different verbs. People use the internet. Yes. Let me check the other guys. Continue working. Okay. 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 Connected. People use the internet to talk. How are you guys doing? Is it okay? Any help? Any doubts? Estamos bien? Yes. Yeah? So far, is it good? Yes. Okay. And one more minute and then we come back together. Okay. Don't worry if you do not finish the six sentences, okay? Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. Can you phone number three? Use me a number number two. Uh, use it for for making homework yeah. message on the traductor. Tareas, homework. Uh huh. Yeah, translator. Come on, the translator. <laughs> <laughs> this is prohibited, Brie. It's not allowed. Come on, Brie. Take a master. Google translation. Google knows everything. It's not all the time. Huh? Uh -huh. Google is not always working. <laughs> That's right. You can use King Aha, aha, Brie. <laughs> that translator is not working. Come on, Brie. <laughs> I gotta wait for the rest of the guys so we can share it. Was it difficult, the exercise? Not really, right? What use? Come back. You know what? That the um, the difficult is that you have to uh, remember that you gotta use two with infinitive and four plus ing. Never forget that. And if you do not forget that, everything's gonna be fine. You know what? We're working and waiting for the rest, but they're not coming, huh? Why they're not coming? Hmm, they don't want to come back. They haven't finished. <laughs> okay. Aha, Carlito, Nubi, Boris. Dinita, Jesse, Gerardo, Morguito, Miguelito, where have you been, eh? I didn't want to come back. And I was waiting and I was like, baby, come back. And then you're like, oh, come on. Okay, did you finish, guys? Yeah? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. Okay, let's double check what you have. All righty, for example, the, what is the first sentence? Uh, Carlitos, what's the first sentence? Uh, satellites are satellites. Used, satellites. Satellites are used uh, uh -huh. to, to study the the weather. To study the weather, very good. Nubi, what you have for satellites? What do you have for the first one? Uh, como se dice sat Satel satellites. Satellites. Satellites are used for sending signs. For for what? For sending sign. For sending sign, yeah. Sign. Very good. Excellent. Sign. Mm -hmm. Señal. Sí. Very good. Uh, number two, robots are sometimes used, Gerardo. Uh, robots are sometimes used. Sometimes. To, to build up cars. To build cars. Very good. Yeah. You're right about that. Or nowadays, I remember that they use for delivering purposes, right? Yes. Inside okay. the university campus. Yeah, I remember that. Especially food. <laughs> yes, very good. Nubi, what you have for number two? Oh, no, no, no. Nubi, no. Let's make Brie. Brie. Okay, Brie, what you have for number two? Brie. 
Number one? No, number two. Robots are sometimes used for making homeworks. For making homeworks. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we can do that. That would be awesome, right? <laughs> for making homeworks. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> on her imagination, on her dreams. That could be. Yeah, that would be one of the. Yeah, which one? Big factories. Uh, ah, yes. To robots to transportation. Ah, yes, exactly. You're right about that. <laughs> so you need to be very specific about what homeworks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. Very good job, girl. Uh, what about uh, number three, Jorgito? You can use a cell phone. I use the cell phone to share internet with my daughter. Very good. What about you, Miguelito? Oh, you, no, you were not in the same. Ah, yes, Miguelito was in a different group. Miguelito, Miguelito, Michael, Michael. You can use a cell phone for uh, watching movies. Uh, for watching movies. Playing video games, uh, calling my family. Oof, hold on, boy. hold on, I know. Oh, very good. <laughs> for doing this, for doing that. That was cool. Very good, Miguelito. Good work. Uh, Bane. Uh, people use the internet for looking information looking for information looking for see sí. i don't know eh, pero yes. hay un verbo mejor I, is it, there is a better verb to use for that yo sé lo que quieres decir por, para buscar información verdad to search to search search, search. 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 Oh. to search for information O puede decir for searching. Se lo puede escribir ahorita. Searching. Puede ser usted to search. To search. No, for searching. Cualquiera de los dos va. Miren. Okay. To search. O for searching. To search. Okay. okay, thank you. You're welcome. A very good job, Annie. Excellent. Another idea. Why do people use internet, Boris? People use the internet to connecting. To connect or to connect? To connect, sorry, to connect uh, themselves. Mm, yes, yes. Yeah, there, you know what? There's a lot of uh, reason why people use internet, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also yeah. To, to check their Instagram account, maybe. <laughs> yeah, or to send, uh, or to contact their friends via messenger. I don't know. There's a lot of things. And guys, today everybody was in cows, right? Because I don't know about you guys, but WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook didn't work the whole day. Right? Until like 5.30 p.m. today. So can you imagine the cows? Wow. Yes. And it was really weird because most of the time, there's supposed to be three servers, right? Tres servidores. One main one and two as a backups, right? Most of the time, because the first one is not working, then the second one starts working and blah, 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 and so on. But it must be a really huge uh, situation in order for they to like uh, stop the internet use for the whole day. All righty, very good. What about guys? A GPS device is used for what? Dinita, uh, a GPS device. GPS. Why do you use GPS for what? Dinita, o no creo que Dinita la haya usado alguna vez. No. A GPS, a GPS device is mm -hmm. used to search, to mm -hmm. search uh, place. To or... search places. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. That could be one of the reasons. What is another or a reason? Direction. A very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Directions, exactly. What else? Para qué más usamos GPS? Uh, okay. For tracking packages. For tracking. For tracking okay. package to lo to look to locate. To locate, very good. Okay. To locate. To localizar. Mm -hmm. O incluso puede ser yeah. to search for a better route. See? ¿Sí? 
para, ver, para yeah. buscar una mejor ruta, ¿no? En caso de yeah. O o en o in the work se lo ponen a los vehículos. To track, to track, to track, to track eh, the workers, sí, to track the trucks, por ejemplo, sí. Muchas empresas tienen GPS para ver a dónde andan, ¿verdad? To, en ese caso es traquear, to track. Okay. The, the, to track. the usual in this moment, the track. usual. Yes, in this moment, in this moment the, the usual is the ways and Wise. Google Maps. And Google Wise Maps, exactly. Google Maps. See, you're right about that. But most of the big companies, guys, such as the truck companies or, for example, Coca-Cola, they always have a GPS on the trucks. Yes. It's mejor para ellos. Yes, it's better like that way. And the last one, guys, a tablet computers can be used. Can me da la respuesta? Can be used? To make, to make homework. To make homework. Very good. What else? To read, ahead, to read a book. Excellent. What else? Or playing game. To play video games. Or play game. game. No, to play. To play, to play game it. or for playing games. For playing. ¿Te acuerdas de que es gerundio? Es for playing. Cuando usas gerundio es for. Y cuando usas en infinitivo es to. Very good. Nada que Carlitos pasa ahí con el Pikachu y compañía, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Very good. What else? <laughs> Nothing else? Miguelito. What I, do you use a tablet for? Is, uh, my tablet is uh, for my homework uh, to English. For doing my homework. Or to do my homework. Okay, uh -huh. very good. Guys, I had to let you know something. Time passed really fast. Wow, yes. it's already the hour and two minutes. So you see, hey, I'm so happy we are starting our second week together. Isn't it amazing? All righty. You see, guys, so how useful is grammar? Grammar is not boring. Grammar is practical. Only you have to know how is the structure, what is the correct way to say it. You will be able to express yourself in a better and fluently way. Tomorrow, we're going to continue with a different topic. Uh -huh. However, we're going uh -huh. to develop our pronunciation, uh -huh. especially uh -huh. for, uh -huh. for words that you don't know. For example, how you pronounce, like satellite, for example. You write one way, but you pronounce in a different way. So we're going to learn tomorrow that. We're going to practice tomorrow that, OK? OK, guys, it's time to say goodbye. Oh, my God. I feel like a tanner today. Oh. <laughs> All righty. Thanks. Thank you. Have a lovely night. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.